Okay, so I hate that I feel this way, but Spider-Man Far From Home is far from my favorite Spider-Man movie. Before we can properly get into this review, I need you guys to kind of understand my context on Spider-Man and the MCU and the way I was positioned with this movie so that you guys can understand why I feel the way I do about it. I also want to make it clear that while this is supposed to be a spoiler-free review, and I'm going to do my best to keep it that way, I need to vaguely discuss certain plot elements that happen right at the start so that you can understand how I was positioned to respond to this movie. I'm also going to briefly mention stuff about the post credits, but that will be right at the end of the video after the actual review is done because there's something like critically important stuff in there that I will need to discuss. The first thing is that I love Spider-Man. I love this character so much. I love or at least like every iteration of this character that I have experienced, whether it be on screen or in games or in the handful of comic books I've read, this character means the world to me. And I don't think there's a definitive version of Spider-Man. There's just all of these different versions and I'm thankful for all of them. I'm thankful for all of the different voices that have contributed to making this character what he is today and making his world what it is today. And so I think it's important to understand that my issues with Far From Home do not come from a place of, ah, oh, this is not what Spider-Man is. Spider-Man is not this. This is what my Spider-Man does. It's not my version of Spider-Man. That is not the case. The second thing is that I love the MCU. I loved Endgame more than I think I will ever be able to adequately put into words. And I made a video on my second channel where I tried. I tried to break down just how much this story has meant to me so far far and just how excited I am for the future of it. You can check it out through the link in the description, but I do want to make it clear that I am 100% an MCU fan. With those things out of the way, Let's begin. Spider-Man Far From Home is the 23rd film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, directed once again by John Watts, who helms Spider-Man Homecoming, a movie that I really love. It's actually one of my favorite films in the MCU. This film here sees Peter going on a high school summer vacation in Europe where he just wants to kind of relax and unwind and re-engage with his more personal relationships. And somehow Nick Fury gets involved, he gets a call and he gets into the whole superhero thing once again. I'm sorry if at this stage it feels like I've set you up to believe that I hate this movie because I don't. I had a lot of fun with it and it is incredibly charming. But I do kind of disagree with most of the storytelling decisions it made at a fundamental level. And for that reason, I feel incredibly conflicted about this movie. The majority of my problems with this movie stem from how it fits into a post-Endgame MCU. I thought that after the searing emotional high stakes of Endgame that we were going to start to see MCU movies that really doubled down on how the things that happen in this world affect these characters and how they change them and shape them and quite often break them down to their barest essentials so that we can really fundamentally understand what makes these heroes operate. And Far From Home failed to do that as far as I'm concerned. It pretty much immediately in the opening minutes takes the characters that sacrificed their lives, that lost their lives in the Infinity War and turns them into the butt of a joke. And yeah, I guess the joke is kind of funny, but that immediate emotional conflict of me, like in me going, oh, okay, yeah, that's the first time I've seen anything about those characters since we said goodbye to them and it's a joke. Uh... That was something that threw me off so immediately that I could not recover for the rest of this movie. I don't think this movie knew what it wanted to do as the first film we're seeing after Endgame. It didn't really know what to do with the world. It turned so much of what happened in the Infinity War with these people disappearing and then coming back. It turned so much of that 
into a joke when it was so much heavier last time we saw it. Last time we saw it, it had shattered the people around. We saw how broken the Avengers were by it. We saw how broken the people on the street, the everyday person was by those events. And Far From Home immediately turned it into a comedic thing. And yeah, I guess it's kind of funny. And yes, it's fun. But I think we deserved so much more. I feel like I was owed so much more. And I hate to do reviews where I'm so personally talking about things like this. But it did not work for me. It does not work for me that there seemed to be no consequences. And that's something that despite my love for Homecoming, Homecoming struggled with. Peter has not faced any consequences yet. And that's because his conflicts are so not attached to him as a character. They're more attached to Tony Stark than they are to him. These movies have never really defined what drives Peter, why he's the way he is. Why does he have conflict about going out and being a hero and saving people, protecting his city, protecting the world and dealing with his personal, personal relationships? I do not understand what this version of Peter's conflict is with that yet. I don't understand what the struggle is. And because of that, I was so emotionally confused about how I was supposed to respond to so much of this movie. And I don't know if this is making any sense to you guys. All I can do is talk about my personal experience with this. Yes, again, I had fun with a lot of the movie. There's a lot of cool stuff. I like a lot of the ideas, but fundamentally where it counts, I do not think this Peter Parker is being taken seriously enough. Tom Holland continues to be fantastic, despite the fact I don't think the writing gives him anywhere near enough to work with. I really like the way he fits into this universe as the kid way in over his head, who has his own stuff that he wants to deal with. But yet again, I keep coming back to the fact that his the fundamentals of his character are so poorly defined for me in this universe so far. I think he has great chemistry with most of the people around him, but the one where it really counts in this movie, their relationship here is built on teenage awkwardness, which is funny and relatable, but I don't feel the longing there. I don't feel the characters wanting to be able to say things to each other that they don't know how to say or that the way where they are in the world right now is stopping them from being able to communicate. I think that is what is so important about that relationship. And even if they've gone with them, you know, just perfectly being in sync and working together in the way that the Amazing Spider-Man movies did, they don't quite have that same energy and chemistry either. It just isn't really working for me just yet. I can't say much about Mysterio, but I think he was handled pretty well and fans of that character will definitely be satisfied with his portrayal in this movie, though I do think he's not quite as effective as he could be because he is not as intrinsically tied to Peter as I think that character should be, as I think all of these people from the Spider-Man universe, from the comics, should be linked to Peter. Peter always feels like he's accidentally stepping into their story. And I think that that doesn't give the emotional drive and the high stakes that those relationships need to have. I think Jake Gyllenhaal had a whole lot of fun with this movie. I think the way he and Tom Holland play off each other was great, but I still don't think it was quite as good as it could have been for me. Far From Home excels as a teenage comedy, and I love that there's a version of Spider-Man that has really lent into that. And I think John Watts has really improved as an action director as well. The action set pieces in this movie are handled with an energy that I really enjoy. There's a lot more of Spider-Man actually swinging around this time and that is hugely appreciated. But I do feel like the teenage comedy thing is almost at odds with the Spider-Man story. I don't feel like they're linked as strongly as they could be and that kind of hurts. I cannot tell you 
any part of this movie where I remember the soundtrack. None of it feels iconic. Spider-Man is an iconic character and I wish his moments were more iconically Spider-Man. I don't know what else there is for me to say about Spider-Man Far From Home other than that it's one of the rare Spider-Man stories that just doesn't work for me. And yeah, I had fun and I sincerely hope that you guys have fun too and enjoy it more than I did because I know that this character means a lot to people. Hell, it means a lot to me. But there just was so many storytelling decisions that I just fundamentally disagree with that I'm kind of crushed by what this movie is. Though I'm not broken. I'm here for whatever Spider-Man story comes next. And I don't know, I guess it's better luck next time. Okay, so I did say I was gonna talk about the post credits, though it's more specifically the mid credit sequence. The actual post credits doesn't mean a whole lot to me just yet, but the mid credit sequence I'm gonna be talking about in three, two, one, that should have been the ending of the movie. That was a consequence for Peter. The story cost him something, something negative happened because of the journey he just went on that he will have to learn to grow and change because of. That is the kind of consequence I'm talking about when I say these movies need consequence. If everyone knows, then that changes the world for him and he will have to learn to adapt. That is what I need more of in this version of Spider-Man. And yeah, who knows what they'll do with it going forward, considering every other person that already knows seems to have just kind of brushed it off and been like, oh, okay, we'll just help you out then. I would like to see some negative consequences come of it. If the villains know, if everyone around him knows, how does that change Peter's lifestyle? How does that affect him as a hero? Yes, it does also cancel out the fact that Vulture knows and that was like a post credits thing in Homecoming and it does kind of cancel that out if everyone knows now, but I do like that scene that just should have been the end of the movie. That happens end credits, not a bunch of fun swinging, a joke, end credits, and then back to something serious. Just pack it into the actual meat of the movie Anyway, that's all I've got to say. So those are my thoughts on Spider-Man Far From Home. Have you seen it yet? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like this video? Well, of course you did. You can subscribe to Breaking Banter down there somewhere, as well as my other channel, Loverboy Media, over there somewhere. You can follow me on Twitter at Loverboy Media and on Instagram at Breaking Banter. And if you really want to help support this channel, you can support on Patreon. Thank you so much to everyone who is doing that already. You're all amazing. Everyone that watches these videos is amazing. And I will see you all in the next one.